Developing your upper body strength, particularly your arms, will certainly help you become a stronger player. And this is one thing you can develop even if you are at home. Hi, I'm Coach Kenny Asuncion and I've been a professional badminton coach for many years. This channel is all about helping you improve your badminton game. I make videos on different aspects of badminton from executing shots well and having a good mindset when playing. Working on your arm strength is important for badminton. Strengthening this part of your body will not only help you make strong smashes or clears, it can also help you avoid injuries. Since we use our dominant arm so much in this sport, overuse can happen and you might even get hurt. This workout will help you develop this very important part of your badminton game. First exercise is push-ups. If you are not feeling too strong, especially for the ladies, you can just do the push-up on your knees. Make sure that your wrist is below your shoulder. Move your knees slightly back, put up your feet, and then move for push-ups. If you're feeling a little strong, you can challenge yourself. And to add a little bit of twist, you can also put your racket on your back. And there you go. Those are the different types of push-ups that we can do. Next exercise, the plank. So when you do the plank, make sure to be conscious of your posture with a straight back. Tuck your stomach in. Make sure that your wrists are below your shoulders. So we're doing the plank with a twist by putting any items that you would have at home. So since I have shuttles, I'll be using shuttles. But you can use either a pen, a tape, maybe a slipper if you need to. So you start in the plank position. It's okay to be shaking as long as you do your best to keep it in a good position. Breathe. Next exercise would be the dips. So we have a strong sturdy chair. Push it up against the wall so that the chair doesn't mean as you do the exercise. So hands, both hands on the chair, grip it tightly, legs out, and then bend your elbow. Use your breath to help you do the exercise better. Inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale. Our next exercise, we will be using the resistance band. Now, the resistance band is rubbery in nature. And the difference between different kinds would be how thick they are. Because the thicker it is, the heavier it can be as you do the exercises. So find a steady, strong place where you can find the resistance band. Try to do a double knot so that it doesn't get out as you do the exercises. So, we are going to do the internal and external rotation, so we will start with internal rotation. So stand on a good posture, shoulder is relaxed. Try to keep your elbow close to your body and pull it. Okay, so pulling it inward. And of course, the other side of it is the external part of it. I'm putting emphasis on having a good posture and being relaxed. So this is the external. Do your best not to move your body and just use the arm. Don't use your body strength when you do the exercises. So keep your body steady and just move your arm. Okay, I love using the resistance band because it has, you can do so many exercises. So it's as simple as this, 
You can squat a bit and just swing your arm as fast as you can. Okay? You can specifically do the forehand side, the overhead side, or even the backhand side. So again, do the forehand side, do the overhead side, and do a backhand. You will definitely feel the burn. So do it on the other side as well. You definitely have to work on your arms if you want to be able to deliver hard and fast smashes. But that's not all you need. The video on your screen shows you can have an even stronger smash. Catch my next video so you can level up your game and be the next smashing success.